Hello everyone, UsefulEngine11 here, and I'm back again with another video. And today, I'm going to be doing an unboxing video on the Trackmaster Pushlong Rajiv. And here to help me today, I got my two friends, Gorn Fano 4 and Sudrian. Say hello. Hey. Hey. Yes, so, basically, they're just going to be helping me with this kind of little unboxing video. So, basically, for... If you guys have seen my unboxing videos on the Trackmaster put the Trackmaster push along um, Rebecca and Merlin, those two videos are a lot more different than this one, just due to the fact that this video on this unboxing video of a Trackmaster push along engine is being made like basically a year later than the other ones. And I did say at the end of my um, Merlin review that I would um, get Rajiv. So basically, yeah. And now I'm basically here. I picked Rajiv up during the summer of, like, I think it was, like, around July, or, or, like, July, early September, I think. But, enough chattering, so we're going to be unboxing this, so, um, okay, here we go. Anyways. Okay. So, anyways, so, Gordon Fano 4, do you want to give a little bit of a backstory on Rajiv for me while I'm doing this? Rajiv appeared in Great Race, and he literally has no character. Okay, Sudrian, what do you think? Um, well, um, <clears throat> I kind of saw him in uh, Great Race. I think I'm just going to go with what Gordon said, which is, he has no character at all. Uh, you know, I mean, he's just a, he's, he's just a character, just a random character made for, uh, <clears throat> merchandise. Yeah. He's a really nice, like, design, though. Yeah, and of Very course, cool. Rajiv has recently made appearances in Big Roll Big Adventures, so... So, I guess that does make sense, why they would release Rajiv. Yeah, and I guess the one thing that Rajiv is mostly protective of is the fact that he... of his crown. But if I've learned anything from the Cedric Legends, who has done a reveal on Rajiv, Rajiv doesn't have a crown, which is one of the negative things about this item but first before i get into the negatives let me talk about the positives i think the design is pretty cool of course it can fit on the the the, the wooden railway tracks and then again it could also fit on Trackmaster, take and play adventures you know anything really um of course it has these weird couplings and i've learned from the Cedric legends and that um the hook can sometimes get stuck on the cow catcher but for mine it's not doing that um, I don't, the face is pretty good, but sadly I don't, but the smoke box, like, I think it's supposed to be the front bit here, is supposed to actually be black and not blue. And why in the world are the wheels bronze? Like, were they trying to make a track master push along bronze diesel? Like, what is this? But I do gotta give I plus. Have that item. I have bronze diesel. Yeah, I'm, yes. I'm jealous um, now. Um, I feel like I needed to say that. I have a, I have a regular diesel. Uh, I don't have a bronze diesel. So. I, I have both. Yeah. But, anyways, so, um, there's a, I will admit, there is a great amount of detail on this item. It's just, sadly, I wish they could have put more, I guess, I don't know how to say it, like, more creativity. Because Rajiv, like Ashima, is supposed to be a really co colorful engine. But here, it's just mostly blue. Yeah, the bronze, the golden in the front, and a bit of white here and there. But other than that, I will admit, his model is kind of bland. But, yeah. Isn't that every Trackmaster 2, Trackmaster push-along item bland? Yeah, but I gotta admit, Rebecca and Merlin had a lot of more... They just looked a lot more better than Rajiv, I think. They did, but they're, it doesn't fix, like, their proportions. Like, their proportions are still weird. Well, uh, yeah, I do agree with you on that. But, like, overall, I mean... Their colors definitely pop. The colors are very nice. I know. But that's not the same here on Rajiv. I know. But, yeah. Um, overall, I think... I don't really know what I'm going to do with this item. I mean, I'm not going to destroy it like I do with a lot of items. But at the same time, I really don't have any purpose for this item. I just bought it to review it because I did promise everyone that I would review this item, and of course now that review is finally coming out. Overall, I think I might keep Rajiv, I mean, 
I I don't I think I might just convert it like give it a wooden railway magnet or something because of the fact well I can do that I guess but yeah and of course just gonna bring a Shima right here you know because they're both from India so yeah I think that basically wraps up this review um, of course this is not like the other two reviews I've done in the past but hey I'm gonna just roll with it for the fact that I've changed a lot but from then to now. So anyways, guys, I hope you all enjoyed this review. Um, thank you, JT and Sudrian, for helping me out with this review. Please go subscribe to their channels, and please go follow them on Twitter. Um, and you guys got anything else to say? Well, I have something to say. Um, because he shouted me out, I just want to say, if you're not subscribed to Useful Engine 11, I recommend you go check out his channel, because... Actually, this is actually a pretty strange thing, but people, um, when they go into somebody's channel, some, a lot of them aren't actually subscribed to you. So, for anybody who's a newcomer to this channel and likes Thomas videos and wooden railway videos and all sorts of things like that, go subscribe to Useful Engine 11's channel. He makes the best, one of the best content ever. One of the best. He's just one of the best. So, go subscribe to him and go subscribe to my channel. Um, and if you haven't already known um but me and useful we did a crossover so go check that out and uh go subscribe to my man gordon fan 04 as well so. Yeah. oh man um so i have something to say too um <clears throat> make sure to check out our podcast channel called disgraceful disgusting despicable i will or useful either one of us will post it into the comments below and it'll be the pinned comment so you guys should go check out that. Also, follow me on Twitter, at Fan04Gordon, for um, updates on my videos that I'm working on and all that other stuff. And uh, subscribe to me on YouTube. I don't really care about my YouTube channel getting subscribers. To be honest, I'm way more active on Twitter. So if you guys want to look for me on Twitter, that'd be the most, like, that'd be the place that would be the most, like, beneficial to follow me on. And, I mean, yeah, I'd rather you follow me on Twitter than YouTube, but that's not important. Um, all right. So, yeah, that's all I really have to say. And my dog is under my bed. <laughs> funny moments with Gordon Fan 04. The funny? Like, get <laughs> yes. out from under the bed. But, anyways, guys, thank you all for watching this review on Trackmaster Push Along with Jeeve. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you all know upcoming videos. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram to see more pro upcoming projects in the future. Subscribe to my second channel, Useful Engine 11 Productions. And like I said, please go to subscribe to Sudrian and JT and follow them on their Twitter accounts. So thank you all for watching. This is Useful Engine 11 signing out, and take care, everyone.